Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about... Crap, I forgot. I have a new set. Either I have Stanley Tucci on the brain or I'm still thinking about a request from my subscriber Adam, but I feel like doing another video about vermouth. Today I'm going to try three different sweet vermouths, make three Manhattans, and decide which vermouth, in my humble opinion, makes the best cocktail. Because here's the thing, I love vermouth, and people think they don't like it, but that's not true. They just haven't had the opportunity to try it properly. When I was bartending at my first real restaurant job, one of my favorite things to do when I met someone who said they didn't like vermouth was to give them a vermouth flight. I'd give people three different vermouths, talk them through each, and when they tried it, they loved it. So what is vermouth? Very quickly, vermouth is an aromatized fortified wine. A producer will take neutral wine, add alcohol, then macerate the wine, the alcohol, or both with their proprietary blend of herbs, roots, and bark, and maybe add sugar. Interestingly, sweet and dry vermouths both begin life as the same neutral wine, and as wines, they do oxidize and should be kept in the fridge. Dry vermouths should be used within a week, with sweets keeping a few weeks longer. For what it's worth, I've found vermouths hiding in my fridge that are over a year old, and they're still drinkable, they're just not as good. Vermouth number one, Martini, also called Martini and Rossi. Wonderful. This is pretty standard stuff, great on the rocks or on cocktails. Next up, Punty Mess, which is slightly more on the bitter side. I really enjoy the bitterness in Punty Mess. I'm probably more likely to drink this on the rocks as opposed to the martini. Some really good raisin flavors in there too. And now the granddaddy, Carpano. Very robust flavor. Cherry, vanilla, this would make a believer out of anyone. Now let's make some Manhattans. I used the same recipe for all three of these, the only difference is the vermouth. To mix things up, I'll taste them in reverse order, Carpano first. Oh, and I didn't garnish them because why would I? Manhattan with Carpano Antica, cheers. Yeah, this is great, but the Carpano is totally the star of the show. All those cherry and vanilla notes are punching right through. And now the Punty Mess. I love the color of this one. This is terrific, it's very complex. The Punty Mess does, in its own way, kind of overtake the drink, though. I would recommend this to Manhattan veterans because the Punty Mess adds a welcome complexity. This is a very good drink. Another martini. This is the most balanced. When I think of what a Manhattan is supposed to be, I think of this. And this one may not be the best, but it probably is my favorite. And you don't have to have all these ingredients around to try these drinks. Just go to a bar where the bartender is wearing a bow tie or suspender or sleeve garters and tell them you want a Manhattan with Punty Mess or a Carpano or whatever. Just don't ask for it shaken. Bonus Manhattan. I remember Carpano being a better fit for bourbon Manhattans and that memory holds true. This is the same drink but with bonded bourbon instead of rye and while I prefer rye, this delivers. This was a fun little experiment. It reminds me of when I was being trained to bartend and the guy training me made me make nine or so Manhattans with different combinations of spirits and vermouths. If you liked it, hit like, consider subscribing if you haven't already, and if there's something you think I should try, let me know in the comments. Stay safe, all the advice professionals, and please don't ask me to drink another Manhattan anytime soon.